Under anesthesia, it's, it's, it's weird. You go out and you're back in with no concept of how long you've been out. Absolutely, it, could, it seems like a second, but it could have been an hour. Hell, it could have been 30 years. You know, <laughs> my wife's standing like, I, I didn't think you'd wake up by Mary Bell. <laughs> Sid Davis got into stand-up a little later than most people, but he's making up for lost time. He's been the opening act for the late, great Joan Rivers, and you can catch him tonight at the Ventura Comedy Festival. Here in the studio, thanks for coming in. Thank you. I gotta say, you were, you were doing a live thing on Facebook from yes. the Dodger game, oh, right? Yes, and so you have a hookup weekend. with tickets behind home plate. I, I didn't think I could love you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to get an invite for next time? No, I'm not even going to be shy about you it. You invite yes. me to your show, I'll invite you to ours. D deal. Perfect. Deal. All right, so let's talk about first. You started comedy later in life. So we got to ask you, how old were you when you gave up career number one and moved to comedy? Almost 49 years old, almost pushing 50 years old. Wow. I retired from the airline. And uh, years before that, I saw The Tonight Show. I was at a taping. Of Johnny Carson, I, I, that's what I wanted to do, but I, I ran into raising a family and all Life. those. Yeah. Yeah. And afterwards, I, I tried it, and I did the open mic, and I worked my way up, and here I am. Nice. Um, so, what has been the reception? Have people been? Did they think you were because you were older? Did they think that you were just automatically really good because they thought you had been doing this for decades? Every every dynamic of the age has its ceiling, and. Yeah. I, it takes seven to ten years to be a to polished comic. Yeah. yeah, but I went on stage at my age, and I had—I I looked like I'd been doing it thirty years. You looked like a veteran. Yeah, but I had the polish of a three-year-old comic. And then the, <laughs> the bookers looked at me and goes, "Well, that's as funny as he's ever going to be." So it's like any other ceiling that you—you know—you have to work harder and break through. And, wow. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that big break. Um, Joan Rivers is beloved in this town. How did you meet her? I got a call from my um, the comedy zone. A guy named Joel Pace called me and said, are you interested in opening for Joan Rivers? And I said, yeah, send her my video. <laughs> like you're going to turn it down. Yeah, and he said, she's seen your video. She loves you and she wow. wants you. And I found out later that she's very particular. She, she watched a, a couple hundred tapes and she, you could just see Joan going, like, shut it off, shut it off. And then she saw 20 seconds of me and she goes, I want that guy. Wow. Well, that's a huge compliment coming from Joan. Yeah. So tell us what you're doing in town. I'm here for the Ventura Comedy Festival. And uh, this started four years ago. Comedian Mark Eddy is just a local favorite here. Yeah. Took me up to the Ventura Harbor Comedy Club. I fell in love with them and they <laughs> seemed to like me. And I've, I've headlined there. And they have this festival, and it's, uh, they have a competition, but it's more or less where the comics just from L.A. go out there and get together. Mm -hmm. And there's about, uh, there's several dozen shows. There's 200 comics. There's comics that come just show up that aren't even on the venue that are some, some real, surprise guests. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a prestigious festival we're talking about. Not everyone gets an invite. No, no. So how does it make you feel to be invited and to be part of this? I, like everything else, I'm like, I feel like I'm fooling these guys, <laughs> yeah. you know, I feel like, well, I don't belong here, but after you uh, hang out with these guys a while, you know, we, we put our pants on one leg at a time, to use an old cliche. Yeah, well, that's all right, you earned it. <laughs> Sid, thanks so much for being here this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, and to, to learn more about Sid and the Ventura Comedy Festival, well, it wraps up tonight. To find out more about it and where you can see Sid, go to kcal9.com and click Scene on TV. We'll be right back.